contraception is available here in the Student Health Department. So here is a short guide to some methods. The combined pill is the most popular method of contraception. It consists of strips of tablets, one taken each day for usually 21 days and then a 7 day break. Newer preparations may have more than 21 tablets in the pack and have a shorter break. Taken correctly, it is very effective, but this is the critical point, as many people may not take it correctly. You need to remember to take it at approximately the same time every day. It may not be suitable if you are taking medications for epilepsy or tuberculosis. Also, if you suffer from some other conditions like heart disease or severe migraine, you should choose another method. If you are a smoker, the risk of side effects is greater. The benefits, if taken correctly, are reliable contraception with a predictable cycle and lighter, less painful periods. Long term, it helps to prevent ovarian cysts and ovarian cancer. Acne will often improve. The serious side effects are rare with modern low-dose pills, but can include clotting or DVT, risk of stroke and migraine. Minor side effects tend to be when beginning the pill and include nausea, sore breasts and breakthrough bleeding. These will generally improve if you carry on taking it. As with many other forms of contraception, there is no protection against sexually transmitted infections, so you should always use condoms as well. This method isn't suitable if you have a busy chaotic lifestyle as you may forget to take the tablets regularly. Putting an alarm into your phone may help, but if you forget to take the tablets, you should consider a long-acting method with less opportunity to miss a dose, such as the implant or contraceptive ring. NuvaRing is a soft, pliable plastic ring which is inserted into the vagina once a month and slowly releases similar hormones to the pill. The ring stays in place for 21 days but is then removed for 7 days. Women often worry that it will be difficult to insert but it is really very flexible and bendy and springs into shape easily. The positioning inside the vagina isn't critical and it can't get lost. In young women the chances of it dropping out are very very low. Women also worry that their partners will feel it but either they don't feel it or if they do the extra stimulation doesn't seem to bother them. The benefits of the ring are that you don't need to remember every day to take your contraception. It is also a very low dose method with the lowest amount of oestrogen of any combined method. It isn't affected by vomiting and diarrhoea. The side effects are similar to those of the combined pill so it may not be suitable for women with cardiovascular risk factors or some forms of migraine or smokers. Again, we would always recommend using condoms for STI protection. If you wish, you can try inserting a dummy nuva ring to see how easy it is. Just ask the doctor or nurse. Another long-acting reversible contraception is the implant. This is a small flexible plastic bar about 4 cm long which is inserted under local anaesthetic just under the skin of the upper inner arm. It slowly releases progesterone hormone over three years. This is one of the most reliable forms of birth control as it is literally fit and forget. It is particularly suitable for women who might forget to take pills or for women who can't take oestrogen. So the benefits are that it's an oestrogen free method with lower cardiovascular side effects. No need to remember it every day. It is also a cheap method when you consider its duration is for three years. The current total upfront cost for device plus fitting is about 150 euro and this equates to 12 months use of other methods. But you get three years contraception with the implant and it's way cheaper than a baby. The side effects are that the bleeding pattern can be unpredictable. For 80% of women, there are no more bleeding days than they would have without the implant, but they can be more random. There is no way to predict in advance what the pattern will be. For 20% of women, three months after insertion, 
the bleeding can be more prolonged. Medication can be used to stop prolonged spells of bleeding if needed. Other side effects can include skin changes. Some women report mood changes, but for a lot of women, the removal of anxiety about getting pregnant is a huge benefit. The procedure for having the implant inserted is straightforward. After an initial appointment to assess suitability, an appointment is arranged for the start of the period. The site is chosen in the non-dominant arm and local anaesthetic inserted. After this, you won't feel any pain, but may feel a bit of pressure or pulling. The device is inserted just under the skin. You and the person inserting check to feel the rod in place. There is no need for stitches and a pressure dressing is applied. And that's it. A very effective method for three years without having to do anything more. Some anti-tuberculosis drugs and anti-epileptic medications and St John's wort can interfere with its effectiveness. Your fertility rapidly returns to its previous level upon removal. Depo injection contains progesterone, similar to the implant or progesterone only pill. It is given every 12 weeks and provides reliable contraception, providing women attend every 12 weeks for the next injection. The benefits are that you only need to remember it every 12 weeks and it is relatively cheap. The side effects are changes to the bleeding pattern, most commonly missing periods, and it cannot be immediately reversed on stopping. It can take up to 12 months for bleeding pattern to revert. Also, it can affect the bone density if used long term, so we don't recommend using it for longer than two years unless there are no other suitable methods. Other long-acting systems include the intrauterine system, and intrauterine device or coil. These are very reliable methods which are inserted into the uterus. As there is a relatively high incidence of infection in the student population, including chlamydia, we do not recommend them routinely for most of our students. However, there may be individuals for whom they are suitable and the family planning clinic can provide further information about fitting. Progesterone only pills are very useful for women who are unable to take oestrogen or who have risk factors like diabetes. A tablet needs to be taken every single day, so no breaks at all. With older progesterone only pills, the tablets had to be taken within three hours of the usual pill taking time. But with the newer Cerazet, there was a 12 hour time frame, which is more practical. Side effects include irregular bleeding with the tendency to miss periods once people are on it for some time. Again, this method isn't suitable for women with poor memories or routine and they should consider a long-acting method such as the implant. The patch is another method which contains the same hormones as the combined pill, so it may not be suitable for women with medical conditions like thrombosis or migraine. It provides 99% effective contraception if used correctly. It can be useful for women who don't want to take a tablet every day, but you do need to remember to change the patch every week. It is applied to the upper outer arm, upper torso excluding breast area, or applied to the abdomen or buttocks. The glue is very effective and it generally doesn't come off during showering or exercise. The risks and side effects are similar to the pill, but it can be tried if women have side effects with other brands of combined hormonal contraception. We would recommend condoms with all methods of contraception to help prevent STIs. They also provide a backup if use of other methods hasn't been perfect. Efficacy with correct use is 96 to 98%, but use is often less than perfect, especially if alcohol is involved. We would therefore encourage fertile young women to add another method. Emergency contraception can be given up to 72 hours after unprotected sex. The earlier it is taken, the more effective it is. Effectiveness drops to 58% when getting close to 72 hours. One tablet is taken by mouth. Side effects are very low and people rarely vomit after taking it. 
There is no maximum number of times it can be given, but we always recommend arranging regular contraception as the risk of failure is much higher with emergency contraception. It is also available over the counter from pharmacies without prescription. So you can see there is a wide range of options available. Fit and forget methods are the most reliable, so have a chat with the doctor about these.